Liz, you're fired. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hi, gang. It's me, Dr. Steve. And today we're going to have a little fun at Liz Cheney's expense, checking out some of the best memes celebrating her political demise. So let's dive right in. All right, so here we have Liz Raham Lincoln, right? She had the audacity to compare herself to Abraham Lincoln in her cringeworthy concession speech. So as you can see, she takes pride in her humility. Here's another one, Liz Lincoln Cheney. Maybe that's her new look going into 2024. Best pick of Liz Cheney. I mean, that's Liz Cheney as a rhino, a Republican in name only. I prefer Diablo, by the way. Democrat in all but label with the O in there somewhere. Speaking of rhinos, I found this video with the caption, Liz Cheney spotted doing last minute campaigning in Wyoming. And that looks about right. It'd be better if she had a bunch of villagers chasing after her. That'd be perfect. <laughs> OMG, Liz, what happened? Oh, that's Adam Kinzinger. That's crying Adam, man. That's hilarious. Liz, Liz. Cue the music, right? Liz, who did this to you? That's awesome. Liz Cheney's political career. Yeah, well, that's basically sums it up. She's politically dead, that's for sure, which makes her cringeworthy concession speech all the more ridiculous. I'm going to run for president just like Abraham Lincoln did after he lost his election. The problem is, is that Lincoln had a political party that actually took him seriously. And then she said she'll run for president. I mean, that's right. That's right. We're all laughing after that cringeworthy concession speech. By the way, right there, that's my politics in a single picture. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Joe Rogan interviewing the MMA fighter that just got knocked out. You know, when did you know you were in trouble? Did you see that right hook coming? And she's just like, uh, good. She should be forced to walk around with that on her forehead. I mean, after all, she has not had a problem putting a scarlet letter, right? A scarlet I for insurrectionist on every ultra MAGA supporter over the last year and a half. What irony that would be tattooing loser across her forehead. Well earned for sure. Yeah, bye-bye, Liz. Liz Cheney loses Wyoming primary, resulting in permanent resting bitch face. So true. It's so true. She didn't have to lose to have a permanent RBF. What is that, by the way? I mean, the lamestream media is all like, she looks so dignified. Where the rest of the world's like, dude, she looks like that picture of the depression mother, you know? She looks absolutely miserable, literally all the time. She is RBF cemented. So there's Homer Simpson. Hey, wait, stop. I got garbage. And he's carrying a Cheney for Wyoming sign. The question, Homer, is why did you have that in your yard in the first place? Or did you steal that from your neighbor Ned's yard? <laughs> now I can focus on running for president. Sure, Liz. Now let's go pack up your office. That's gold. I mean, that's Joe's dementia spreading. I mean, that would explain it, right? That and the millions of dollars that Liz is raking in from Democrat donors. Ah, yes, the box of lies. That's right. And inside that box, of course, CNN talking points, MSNBC, DNC talking points that Liz faithfully spewed every single day in her pathetic career. You think she was auditioning for something? <laughs> Looking for a job on The View or CNN. You see, this proves my point. Liz sounds far more like the borderline illiterates on The View than she does any Republican I can think of. So maybe now this is a wonderful opportunity for her. She can uh, she can make this transition and privy herself daily to the intellectual insights from the likes of Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg. Heck, she, she may actually replace Joy Behar. But then again, if things don't work out at CNN or The View, there is always... Mickey D's, this has got to be my favorite, all right? Talk about career transition. Do you want fries with that? Here's another one. Here's a, I'll take some more ketchup, please, and hurry it up. Come on, Liz. Actually, just keep coming. Would you not love to see that site? Thanks. Come again. <laughs> yeah, that about says it all. Take out the trash. That's what Wyoming voters did. It was one big statewide trash collection. Yeah, and this is another one with the same sentiment. <laughs> Please vote for me. Yeah, psh, F you. He can't throw that plate far enough.
question for what the inaugural address. What a great honor address. to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere. That well, that's going to do it for us, gang. As always, make sure you smack that bell and subscribe button. And before you go, make sure to check out my latest video on Liz Cheney getting absolutely humiliated in Wyoming. We take a deep dive into the numbers and what it all means for the new ultra mega Republican Party. You're going to absolutely love it. So make sure to click on that link and I will see you over there. God bless.